2023 is coming to an end, and the only sport that is fully contained within the year 2023 is baseball. So even though baseball is long gone, I do want to do a recap of what happened now that all the emotions have been taken um, out of it. Um, first of all, um, in the playoffs. Obviously, the MLB playoffs has uh, 12 teams. Some of those teams repeated... Some of them didn't. And then you also had the case of some teams um, that is – that's no. You also had the case of some teams that um, that maybe they may, missed it last year and made it this year. And also division titles can get interesting even if the teams can still consecutively make the playoffs. So, first of all, there are some damning similarities from this year and last year. In the NL East – and the AL East, in both cases, three teams made the playoffs. In both cases. Now, were they the same three teams? No. But in both cases, you're the AL and NL Central only send one team over. And you had the NL West and the AL West each send two teams over. But there, there are some differences between them. So, in 2022... We saw the Braves narrowly edge out the Met for control of the NL East division. The Braves narrowly edged out the Met. Um, it came down to the final series, but with the Braves sweeping the Mets, they won the tiebreaker, and they both had 101 wins. Um, so... It was a very disappointing end to what had been the Mets' second best season in history. And unfortunately for Mets fans, they'll be the first team in history to have over 100 wins and lose in a wild card. Actually, very similar thing would happen to the Rays, just that they only had 99 wins. But the, it would be the second best team to do so, and they would only be trailing to the 2022 Mets. Um, so, what you have to understand from there is is um, you had those teams, and, and then you had the Phillies. So the Braves, it was their fifth consecutive NL East title, and they would earn a, the, their sixth consecutive NL East title in 2023. Braves would repeat in that regards. But, um, you know, the Mets, it was their first time in 2022 making the playoffs in 2016, and they would not repeat. They would be one of the few teams that failed to improve on their record already. They failed to improve on their record by July, by the end of July, um, or the beginning of August, they were already at 61 losses, and they would just continue to plunge down the toilet. They finished 75-87. and 87. And had that Marlins-Mets game that the Marlins were leading in, 2-1, that got turned into a one on Mets victory, had that game actually any postseason implications with the Marlins being flown back to New York, um, the Mets could have, number one, played spoiler for a, a number of different teams if they had come back in the ninth inning. But with the Marlins having an 85% chance of winning that game, more immediately what would have happened is the Mets would have dropped to 74 and 88. So they regressed 26 games, and honestly, it very easily could have been 27 if their game wasn't suspended by a storm that would later go on to become a historic rainstorm for the area. Um, so, that was what happened in the NL East. The Phillies hadn't made the playoffs since 2021, um, uh, since, I mean, since 2011. 2021 was their first time since 2011, having more wins and losses, going 82 and 80. They seemed to be going in a positive direction, and it helped them because in 2022, they won 87 and 75 and made it to the World Series, where they lost. This year, they lost in the National League Championship Series, despite having both a 2-0 and a 3-2 edge over the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, they wound up losing. And I was pretty surprised to see them lose, actually. Um... But they did make it to the NLCS, and they improved on the record going 90-72. and 72. Um, So, that is, um, that is baseball, in a nutshell. So, for the NL East. So, what changed this year is um, the Mets sucked. 
Braves improved. They went from 101 and 61 to 104 and 58. And they went from the two seed to the one seed. Mets were the four seed last year. They, they lost in a wild card round to the Padres. This year, well out of postseason contention. They were eliminated. Um, they were eliminated in like mid September. So they were one of the earlier teams out. Um, now what they're hoping is that they can get in a top six draft so that their pick is protected. Otherwise, they will have a 10 game um, um, draft d deduction because of tampering, but it would go in the second round if they are in the top, protect the top six. Um, but because they were like the seventh or eighth worst team last year, even that's like not a guarantee. So, mm, that is that. Now, as far as, um, you know, the NL East, now, so the Phillies improved from the 60 to the 4 seed, and you might be wondering now, what about that 13 that must have taken their place? It was the Marlins. They were 84 and 74. Eight, and they really did sneak into the playoffs. Although the caveat that had that game mattered, they would have been 85 and 77. Um, just that by that point, the game didn't matter because the Marlins had the tiebreaker over the Diamondbacks. But, you know, the Marlins, they made the postseason in the 2020 shortened season and, um, and made it to the divisional round. But their last... A playoff berth in a real year was 20, 2003 when they made it to the World Series. Now, history was against the Phillies because the Marlins have been dominant in the few years they've made it to the postseason. But 2023 proves to be a good year for the Phillies because they were able to get the Marlins out of the wild card round in the sweep. Um, so that was very positive for the Phillies. Very positive for them. Now, um... Now, as far as um, going into, you know, another division, the NL Central changed control of the division. Last year, it was the Cardinals who went 93 and 69. This year, it was the Brewers. Cardinals missed out in the first postseason in a while. I think since like 2018 or 2017, they've missed out this year. And actually, they went 71 and 91. So they went from the top of the division down to rock bottom territory, um, which is, you know, very unusual. The Cardinals also had one of the worst seasons in many years this year. The Cardinals flopped, honestly, pretty much as badly as the Mets. And the Cardinals were the three seed last year, but they got swept in a wild card round by the Phillies. And Honestly, these wild card sweeps by these teams should signify that these teams really were on a bit of a tear. And they were. And they would go one place down the toilet. The Brewers missed that in 2022 in their first postseason since 2017, despite going 86 and 76. This year they improved to 92 and 70, enough to win the NL Central and win the three seed. But they still got uh, squished in a wild card round by the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Arizona Diamondbacks were able to squish this team out of the, um, you know, out of the wild card round. And again, that must have been totally humiliating to um, Brewers fans. So, like in last year, what we see is is um, the NL Central can only send a team to the wild card round, and they can't even win in the postseason. They can't even get to the divisional round, which used to be guaranteed for the three seeds. What we can also see in the NL East is that, you know, the Braves and Phillies are going to move on, but the other team that gets in there is going to lose in the wild card round. And... Speaking of which, in the division round, it's been Braves or Phillies both times. Both times, Braves have had, Braves have had 
numerous edges over the Phillies. In both cases, I think they were actually exactly 14 games because they both had three game improvements for this year. And in both cases, the Phillies beat them in four games. They've been very similar. People always say Bryce Harper is the, one of the best players ever. I mean, the Nationals actually won the World Series. The very first chance they had with Adams, so that's in dispute. But Bryce Harper has still been changing the Phillies in a positive way. And so, you know, as a result, we could still say that Bryce Harper um, was a person who really helped the Phillies in a positive way. Uh, so there's that. Now, in the NL West, in both years, the Dodgers have won it and they lost to a divisional opponent in the divisional round despite squishing them. But there has been regression this year. Last year, they won 111 wins. Um, and with a one seed, this year they had only a, a hundred wins and with a two seed. Um, so there's been some changes around in the NL West. Um, but in both cases, yeah, they lost to a six seeded team. Actually, in the case of the, um, you know, um, 2022 team, they end in a sweep loss for the Dodgers. Another change in the NL West is who represented them. Um, in 2022, we saw the Padres make the postseason. They made it in 2020, but it was the first time in a full season since 2006 making the playoffs. And they won 89 and 73. And they made it all the way up to the National League Championship Series, where they lost to the Phillies. In 2023, however, despite being one of the best teams statistically wise, they failed to produce that into wins. Uh, and as a result, they were only able to go 82 and 80, missing out on the postseason. Um, but honestly, it was a pretty incredible run back. And if they had just converted a few of their losses into wins, they would have made it into the postseason, despite no one believing in them at certain points. Um, speaking of which, the Cubs, my favorite team, also had a very heartbreaking collapse. Um, the Padres actually almost had an, a surge, but the surge was unsuccessful. The, pa the Cubs completely collapsed. They were 76 and 64 on September 6th, I believe. And from there, they just squished all the way down to 83 and 79, missing out on the postseason. Um, and in you and in the NL Central this year, you actually had three teams who were in serious contention, but history was like against the Reds as well. They went 82 and 80 and also faded out of the playoff picture um, just as quickly as the Cubs did. This is actually a year in which Game 162 did not determine anything for the postseason except who would win the AL West. So, again, in the case of the, um, you know, in the case of the Cubs, they... You know, they, they improved from last year and they won only 74 and 88, but still, I mean, they're a team that uh, really should have gone better, but but the, their series against the Diamondbacks really put them in a negative position overall. Okay. So, now, we get into... Um, the American League. And by the way, the Diamondbacks made it in the 60 at 84 and 78. It was their first time making it to the postseason since 2017. Now, as far as the Arizona Diamondbacks, um, what I will say is I don't exactly know what they had last year, but it was definitely a losing record. They definitely did not do good. And what I also want to say about the Diamondbacks is that usually, again, when you make it to these four of a series, they can be taken seriously. The Padres, they but were predicted by some to win out the National League and make it to the World Series and even win it in 2023. Um, and the Rangers are one, uh, are one of the hottest favorites to win it all in 2024, despite doing really badly in 2023 as well. I mean, 2022. Not 2023. Um, Rangers and uh, Diamondbacks, unfortunately for the team, they can't be taken seriously as of right now because the Arizona Diamondbacks, um, you know, as of right now, um, the Arizona Diamondbacks are in a position where they really just snuck into the playoffs, absolutely, and managed to make some noise. But 
in a normal year, they would have been excluded. And that's why the National League champions in 2023, it's likely to be a one-year thing. They aren't really going to be going on a streak. Plus, they never do. But they almost never will go on a streak of, of many postseason runs and establishing a dynasty. Now... Speaking of dynasties, the Yankees dynasty has been toppled. So, in the AL East, we had, again, three teams making the playoffs. But in this case, the wild card teams of the Blue Jays and the Rays were the same. So, this time the Rays were from 6-4, to four, and the Blue Jays went from 4-6. to six. And they both lost in the wild card round. I will say it was probably more heartbreaking when it happened to the... Rays because they had 99 wins, whereas the Blue Jays last year had 92. This year, the Blue Jays regressed down to 89 wins, whereas um, the Rays last year only had 86 wins. So they were able to go on a massive upsurge. But things did not really work out very well for either team in the postseason, and they both lost in sweeps. Um, now. In the case of the uh, AL East winner, it was the Orioles. They haven't won a division since 2014. They hadn't even seen the playoffs since 2016. The Orioles were a team who were able to have one of the best seasons ever, and they went 101 and 61. And they got swept in a wild card round by the Rangers, who also took out the Rays. Now, in the case of the Yankees, they were 99 and 63 last year, whereas the Yankees were 83 and 79. And when the Orioles went from 52 and 110 in 2021 and being at the bottom of the American League from starting in 2018 after their 2017 season was also poor, the Orioles looked like a bit of a threat. And they were threatening, just not in the postseason where they lost. But they were threatening, um, you know, in a, in a regular season, you certainly didn't want to play the Orioles. Now, the Orioles got the one seed in the American League. The Yankees were the two seed last year. Um, but yeah, the Yankees went all the way down to 82 and 80. So the Yankees pretty much um, had their worst season since the 1990s. They did continue their reign of having the longest winning record in North American sports at 31 full seasons because 1994 is scratched because the players went on strike. But they really could have had their first losing season since 1992. And if, things, if the Yankees can improve quickly, they will fall out. The Yankees were never really a dynasty in the 21st century anyway, having only won one World Series uh, since... Um, you know, this, this, this start of 21st century when they won it in 2009. I consider 2000 to be part of the 20th century for your information. And um, you can just get to that comparison and see. And at first, you know, they always at least make the World Series, consistently make the postseason and all that stuff. But now they're really struggling to do even that. And they've honestly turned into the Packers of the MLB. So, Yankees, again... Um, you're really in a not-so-great position as of now. Red Sox were the only team that had losing records in either of these years. I think they went from 79 and 83 to 78 and 84. So, not that big of a deduction. But still, the Red Sox were a team that really failed to get it together. Um, and Boston have to now hope that the Celtics and Bruins can do it after the Patriots also found themselves eliminated from the NFL playoffs in week 14. So, it's been a tough year for many cities that are normally used to having um, happiness in the playoffs. But, um, we also get to the AL Central, and the AL Central can at least make it to the divisional round, but they lost. Guardians last year, they went um, 92 and 70. They swept the Rays in the first series in two historical games for different reasons. And then they lost to the Yankees in the DS in five games. This year, the uh, Twins lost in four games to the Ashes in the DS. In both cases, yes, they are the three seed. The Twins actually only won 87 and 75. And a team that didn't make the playoffs had a better record than them. But 
Honestly, considering the Twins could have been the first MLB team in a full season to make the playoffs with a losing record, they honestly turned around pretty nicely. And for a while, I actually was thinking, could the AL Central legitimately send a team with a losing record to the playoffs? It's happening in the NFL, never in the MLB. But ultimately, um, you know, the Twins didn't do so, and they actually finished the season off pretty well. And that helped them to beat the Blue Jays in the wild card round in the sweep. Um, they even a landed the Astros, their first home loss in the divisional series since the 2015 series. And while the Twins initially appeared to be in the driver's seat for it, they lost both of their games at home, ending their short postseason stint. But they won their first series in 2002 and their first game since 2004, which is very impressive. So they will always have that going for them. Now, 2023 was, again, looking to be a promising year for the Mariners. Last year, the Mariners were 1972, and they made their first playoffs since 2001. And this year, they were hoping to win their first AL West House in 2001. But they went 88 and 74. They had a September spiral out of control into the collapse land, and they failed to make it. By the way, the Angels, who were actually taken seriously up until August, had a huge collapse, and they finished the same record they had last year, which was 73 and 89. A very bad record in the MLB. In the case of the Mariners, again, they had hope for a while, but things just did not go well for them in their final series against the Rangers. And that's what dudded them in. Um, you know, the, the the Mariners really had to win the series against the Rangers, but the Rangers just would not let them. Actually, the Rangers would. But the one game that the Rangers won, the Mariners um, found themselves eliminated because then everything else went right for them because um, we had an Astros and a Blue Jays win, which... Again, really just helped them um, kick the Mariners out of the postseason. And it was probably very disappointing. But the Rangers made the first postseason since 2016. But again, they lost on tiebreaker to the Astros, 90-72. But then they actually met in the ALCS. And the Rangers won. And they won their first World Series this year. So, you know, it's just, it's just, like, just like, damn. Because you have one of the worst teams in the MLB... In 2022, now all of a sudden in 2023, they just really impress everyone. The Astros, the Rangers were the five seed, by the way. The Astros fell from the one, um, one seed to the two seed, and maybe that's what that them in. But I don't know. I really don't know. They they did go from 106 and 56 down to 90 and 72, and people were really hoping they would have that that they um would have their you know, first AL West not win in a full season since 2016. That didn't happen. But I will say that the Rangers, at the very least, made it so that 2023 was not as successful for the Astros as they wanted it to be. And that is really neat. Also, if a Dallas team has to win a championship, I'd much rather be the Rangers than uh, the Cowboys. So that's good. Um... Now, that's, you know, the AL West and all that stuff for the postseason. Um, and honestly, you know, not a lot of things changed, but there were some significant dis differences, even though the pictures were overall, you know, actually pretty similar. I'm going to have to make an NFL prediction video soon.